Hey guys, Kate here. I just wanted to give you a little bit of information on what is going to be happening and why I have not posted any videos in the past week. So, starting off with why I have not posted any videos. I have not posted any videos because I've been really busy and getting the last videos out in such a short amount of time um, just kind of wore me out since I was up late editing them and just worrying about them and all that jazz. Um, so that kind of just wore me out. So I took a few days, like two days, just to get my sleep back. And then we've just been running errands and getting ready. Um, I've been crunching for school. But anyway, <laughs> I've just been really busy um, just with life. So I wasn't able to get any videos out to you guys this week, and I'm really sorry about that. But I have a whole list of videos that I will be making and putting out um, as soon as possible. And a list for those will be down in the description and I hope you check that out. Um, I will be in the next few days putting out a video on traveling with hermit crabs, packing and traveling because I am leaving for Texas in just about three days. Because, yeah three days because we're leaving on Wednesday and I have to bring the crabs. Now I understand a lot of people are not gonna approve of this. They're gonna you know tell me I'm a bad owner and that I'm gonna kill them or like abuse them or whatever. But I just want to say, I understand that, and I don't favor the idea of bringing them, but there's really no better option. I don't have anyone here to take care of them, and their humidity has been up and down and not in the right range, so that needs a lot of attention, and my parent, grandparents really wanted to meet them anyway, so I have to bring them. I Also, they're my crabs, so don't tell me that I'm gonna kill them because you know I've done all my research and I wouldn't do anything to hurt them um I like obsess over them in case you didn't know already I mean I don't obsess over them no not at all but yeah I like stay up some nights just worrying about them like I get up like every hour to check on them so just don't tell me I'm a bad crab owner because I do my best and I guess that's all you can really ask for and that goes for anyone really so they're traveling with me and I found this little container it's about that tall and like that wide um, at Target today and it snaps together and the top it's like three little separate boxes but they all snap together so it's kind of cool um, the bottom one I'm gonna put their supplies in like um, bringing their heaters and I have two Nutella lids and a peanut butter lid two for water one for food that I'm bringing and oh their humidity and temperature gauge that's coming uh, so that'll be in the bottom. Then in the second box, I'm going to put dividers. Because um, the top box has dividers. It has six little sections. So I'm going to put six crabs up there, six crabs in the bottom, like in the second one. Even though I only have 11, you know, so it'll be like six and five. But anyway, um, so we found that, and that's what they're going to be traveling in. And I'm just going to do a whole video on that in the next few days. Probably the day before I leave, I'll be packing. So look out for that. Also, I have some interesting news to share with you. Now, I have only been posting about crabs, but this is my animal channel, so it's about, like, all the animals. All the animals. Um, <laughs> anyway, it's about all animals, so I am going to start posting about um, some other animals. Like, I work with horses a lot, so I might post some videos of that, and what was I getting to? Oh, I remember. Okay. So, this summer I will be going to the NC State Vet Camp, and that is going to be a really cool experience, I think. I've already talked to some of the other people going via Facebook. Um, but it's just been really neat getting to know. Like, I have a roommate, and we've been talking, so that's really cool. Another thing I've been doing is trying to get in touch with this vet that I job shadowed with before, and she is a mobile equine vet. So she specializes in large animals and like, well, equine, obviously, horses. So she specializes in horses and I traveled with her before and it was really cool. Um, but I left her a message and hadn't heard back from her and we heard that she was really busy so we thought, oh, okay, maybe she just didn't get around to getting back to me. But then we called my old riding instructors. Um, they retired and we had just really wanted to be we'd just been really wanting to see them so we asked them if we could come out on Friday it was 
And they said, yes, but the vet's going to be in. And I was like, yes, I finally get to talk to her. So I met up with her there and we talked and she was like, yeah, definitely you can come job shadow and hang out. Um, so I'm going to be doing that the three weeks I'm here. And she also said that the NC State vet camp is a really good one and hard to get into. So I did a good job with that. And I'm not doing this to brag. I'm just really excited. So I thought I would share it with you guys and, you know, Animal Channel. Um, so that's what part of what is happening this summer and I just thought I would let you guys know I think that's about it also if you have any video requests comment below because I always need new ideas and it just really helps me out so if you have any ideas just comment them and I will add them to my list thanks for watching guys I hope you stick with me through this summer with my up and down and gone and here and everything I will try and keep up with videos maybe like once every two weeks if I can because um, one of my camps I will be gone for two weeks and then I'll have a weekend off and then I'll be gone for another two weeks so I'll try and get one up then um, but that's pretty much what's happening comment rate subscribe bye